Good afternoon to you and welcome to this afternoon's live card making session. My name's Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm just hopping on my mobile so I can see who is with us. So do say hi if you are joining us live. If you're watching on one of my other Facebook channels, then you may not um, be able to um, talk to me live. Um, but if you're watching on the Gemini Crafts main Facebook page, then I can see your comments. If you're watching on Catch Up or on YouTube and you have any questions, please do feel free to ask those questions. And I do monitor any um, outstanding comments and I'm more than happy to answer um, any queries that you may have. So let us see, we've been working, hello Tracy, on the fine art floral suite this week as you can see it um, consists of these really pretty images and there is a complete suite hello Jeanette hello Brenda so as well as the stamps and the dies we have gold leafing we have an embossing folder, we have heat and stick powder, we have ribbon, we have acetate and these lovely papers which I showed you yesterday and this is the stamp set itself. So lots of really nice clear sentiments and then we've got some two step stamping for this flower, for this flower we've got a stalk and another flower. The dies obviously cut out those main elements plus it has um, just want to say as an expression. So let me just briefly show you the cards we've made this week while everybody's hopping on and then we'll get cracking with today's plans. So this is what um, I finished off yesterday. So this was using the designer acetate. Let me just um, make sure I can see everything on my other screen. So this is using the silver side of the designer acetate and I've just placed it onto some of the, the reverse really of the patterned paper and made that into a congratulations card uh, which I think would be suitable for an engagement um, or wedding or anniversary. I added some of the dinky little snowflake sequins because they just matched that mint macaron which is the main colour in that set. So there is one. The congratulations comes from the stamp set itself. Um, this one, um, I've taken out the word want so this just just to say I've added that onto a piece of acetate and that gold acetate matches the papers underneath um, it's quite difficult for you to see I can lift that up slightly and that's got the gold on it some gold thread at the top and inside it says I'm thinking of you so nice um, very easy card to recreate And then earlier in the week, we did some simple stamping. So this one is just using one of the stamps to create a background. And I used a sentiment from the oval stamp set. This is one uh, we created using the vellum doilies as a background. Hello, Carol G. 
Um, so this one in, is in Poppy Parade, which I stamped it, it in here, and I used Cherry Cobbler for the detail on top. And just some little white dots on there to finish that off. Hope you can see that. And I've added a Wink of Stella on there. Not sure that you can see it necessarily in the detail. This little die cut comes with the set of dies. This was our two-step stamping using the larger flower with bumblebee and real red. That one there. And I've added that obviously onto the envelope. And this die cut, which has tiny little dots all the way around it, comes from the Nature's Thoughts stamp set. And then we had just more background stamping, this time with Smoky Slate to make an elegant birthday card. And Monday, we started with this one. And again, just stamping one single stamp all the way around in a border effect. And this sentiment is from Happiest of Birthdays. And obviously we have a, an envelope to match with the gorgeous grape ink. So that's what we've been up to this week. Today I thought I would finish by using some of the designer paper from the set. And I've got two pieces and funnily enough the way that I've cut that, uh, which was purely by accident, this has come out as almost the same piece which is actually quite useful because I want to show you how you get two different looks um, but that wasn't my original intention just the way that I cut it so what I've got is two base white cards that have been cut and scored and then I have a bumblebee layer and then this piece is going to go on top hello Karen I hope you're well and hi Babsy and this layer is going on Mary Marlowe which is one of the reds in the paper. So I'm going to use these two as the basis for my cards today. And I want to share a couple of things with you. One is I want to show you how the gold leafing works. And I also want to show you how you can um, apply gold leaf to any part of your papers or your stamped image without necessarily having a matching stamp. Now this detailed stamp coincidentally matches this um, pre-printed designer series paper. So on one of these I'm going to use the stamp like that with our gold leafing. And this is very very light and goes everywhere. So it's called Gilded Leafing. It's £8.25 for a for a packet which is huge and when you open it up it goes even further hello lovely Linny so I'm going to show you that and I'm also going to show you how you can use Versamark and a paintbrush just to add a bit of um, leafing as and where you want and I also want to show you how you can use clear embossing powder that gold is going everywhere already. Um, just to highlight elements on any of your backing papers, your DSP. So um, let us start with this one. I'm just going to pop these away to one side for the moment so I don't get anything all over the place. So the first thing I want to show you is using our Versamark, which is our watermark stamp pad. So this is a product that Stamping Up sell, but it's not produced by Stamping Up. It's produced by Tsutsenko, I think. Oh, it doesn't say that on here. Yes. Tsukinado. Not quite sure how you pronounce it. Anyway, it's their branded product. And it's ideal for making a watermark image, which we did relatively recently on one of our coffee and card um, live sessions here. 
I'm going to show you first of all how you can use it to create um, a glossy embossed image on your piece of designer paper. So you can do this with any designer paper if you want to make it step up a little bit. So all I'm going to do is I am going to get my embossing buddy out first. I have about I have about three but I'm not sure I put the last one away so let's get another one out beyond the safe side so I'm going to apply the embossing buddy right the way across my paper like so and I have some clear embossing powder to hand now you do really need to label them up if you move them from the jar that they come in because it's very easy to get this mis mixed up. So this could be clear, it could be white and it could be heat embossing powder. So as long as I've got the right label on, and hopefully I have, this is clear embossing powder. We'll soon find out. So what I'm going to do is use my Versamark ink and because this matches the papers I'm going to use this for our highlight but I will show you how you can do it without um, a matching stamp pad a matching stamp that's it that was the word okay so I'm going to do this one here and this yellow one here I'm not worrying too much about my exact placement and I'm going to do this one here like so now I appreciate you can't see where I stamped because that is a clear ink pad but hopefully you'll see when I add the clear embossing powder where that is going to stick so if you want to jazz up some designer paper make it look a little bit different this is quite a useful way to do it so I'm just going to bring my pot in here and sprinkle over what I hope <laughs> is clear embossing powder looks like I need to buy some more onto my designer paper like so and where it's hitting the ink that I've placed on the powder is sitting so you can see hopefully um, it's just quite dull in places now and that's the powder sitting on top okay I'm going to put the lid on this so that I don't knock it over hello Claire haven't seen you for a little while I hope you're well Okay, so I've just applied Versamark and my stamp onto the three main flowers. I've added clear embossing powder and now I'm going to heat set that. I'm just going to start my heat gun away from the microphone just so it gets warm. and then I will apply it to our designer paper. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to see this. that down there okay now I'm just hoping I'm just looking at the camera oh, I think you can see it now so if I just angle that can you see where that is now glossy on the leaf itself on the flowers itself at the top the top two 
and this bottom one here. So if you've got a stamp that matches your designer paper, and some of ours do, that's stamping up, then you can really make that designer paper pop just by adding some of that Versamark. Now what happens if you don't have a stamp to match the paper? What you can do, and I might do it on this little strip here of the butterflies to show you, is that you can take some of our Versamark ink refill and apply that with a paintbrush and then apply your powder in exactly the same way. Now I normally use, if I've got one here, a Winker Stella um, brush or an aqua painter or water painter but if you use an old Winker Stella brush it does the job so this has run out of Winker Stella I haven't refilled it oh that's my pleasure Karen so um, what I'm going to do is just take the ink refill so you can buy this at the same time or you can buy it separately you can buy it without the Versamark and literally put a drop and this is quite gloopy stuff so you really don't need very much hello Isabel that's nice to see you nice to have you join us so we're just doing a bit of playing with designer paper and what I've done is apply some Versamark and clear embossing to this piece here hopefully you can see that in the light mm -hmm. so if you don't have a stamp that matches take some um, Versamark dip your paintbrush or aqua painter in it hello Laura and just paint it where you want it on your designer paper like so now you can use our fine tip glue to make anything go glossy in exactly the same way the only thing I would say is the fine tip glue takes a long time to dry and it's very tempting to tip your finger into it to see whether it's dry and you're left with a very pretty fingerprint so I'm just applying Versamark ink refill to a few of these butterflies so I'm just using this I just happen to have a scrap of this paper so you can apply it to as many or as few as you want you can also just use it to dot little bits around if you want to exactly the same and you can do this same thing I'm going to use this with clear embossing but you can do the same thing with the gold flakes so I'm going to use the gold flakes on my next piece so that is Versamark applied onto there Versamark ink from our ink refill you could um, pick up some of the Versamark not from this one because it's very old um, you could pick pick some up from here but I don't think you'd get enough of coverage of course what you can do is if you want it glossy all over is you can take the whole pad and press it all over your paper and turn that into shiny glossy paper so here I've got some Versamark on some assorted butterflies I've just applied with my um, actually my empty winkler Stella but you just need a paintbrush really and then I'm going to use my clear embossing powder on this so just be careful where you're um, holding it so that you don't um, put your fingers in where you've added the ink okay. 
So I'm just looking to see which of those butterflies I've coated. Now I appreciate you can't really see the layer of powder on here because these images are quite small. But hopefully you'll see it when it's glossy. So I've added that layer like so and now I'm just going to use my heat tool over this piece here. Let me just grab that. This is where it's quite handy that my microphone is separate to my camera. Hello Carol. Okay, so I'm just getting this up to heat and then I'm going to apply this. over our paper and I'm not sure if you can see that oh yes you can just as they go through the light any others. Oops. Go. So I'm hoping you can see it's a little bit more subtle obviously because these are small butterflies but if I just tilt them let me know if you can see those. As they move in the light. I mean, these pa these butterfly papers are really pretty anyway, to be honest. But if you want to just, um, you know, embellish your designer papers a little bit more, then this is a really good way to do it. As I say, you can use our fine tip glue. This one here. Because this, this dries glossy. Thank you, ladies. But the problem is you've got to leave it a good, you know, hour or two to dry. Now, if I wanted to make a card with some gloss on it, I may not have that time. Um, but this is really subtle. The other thing you can do is use um, some glitter embossing powder or sprinkle a little bit of glitter onto the Versamark before you add the powder. And you could make those glitter butterflies. You could also now apply Wink of Stella to the um, shiny pieces. And so you would get glitter and shine. Uh, you, you, won't, uh, you just won't be able to see that. It's too small in the light, so I apologise for that. But that's another option. So it's a great way of stepping up your designer paper by adding Versamark either with a stamp and then using clear embossing powder. Obviously you can also use silver and gold if you wanted to. So what you could do if you wanted these to have little gold edges for example you probably wouldn't on this size of um, paper. But if you wanted to you could uh, then just brush your Versamark along the very edges, add some gold embossing powder and then heat set that and in fact that would be a really nice thing to do with any of the butterflies cut out. Thank you Carol. So um, let's do the other one and then we'll make this into a card. So what I want to show you is the gold leafing. Now I know some of you will have seen this already so um, if you have I apologize so this is our clear embossing one and it's exactly the same routine for gold leafing whether you use the Versamark ink pad and a stamp or whether you use the Versamark um, refill and a paintbrush exactly the same 
so I'm going to start off the same but all I recommend is that you make sure that your um, pots are labeled so when they come to you from stamping up this one says heat and stick powder but if you transfer that make sure you transfer with the right label otherwise you'll wonder why it's all sticky hello Jill so we're just playing with um, Versamark and embossing powders and gold leafing so I'm just going to apply this stamp again to those three flowers one two and three so it is um, fortunate that this designer paper matches the stamp but as I say you can just paint it on with a paintbrush if it doesn't okay I'm going to pop the lid onto that now I'm going to use the heat and stick powder and I'm just going to grab a spare bit of paper to catch this is a bit large really Okay, and look who's been here. This is the cat. This is Cat Prince. Okay, so I'm going to apply the heat and stick powder to that Versamark layer where I have stamped it. And you could, of course, add Versamark if you wanted, you know, some little tips of these flowers to be gold leafed as well you could add the Versamark with a paintbrush exactly as I said before just tip this back into here and I think you can see probably a little bit clearer where the heat and stick powder is sitting because it's white as it looks mm, if you can see it okay tip that little bit off there not waste anything put the lid on this so I don't knock it over okay so now what I'm going to do is go I'm going to heat this and instead of getting this glossy effect it's going to go glossy but it will be sticky and the idea then is that we can use our gold leafing flakes to attach to effectively the glue so what I'm going to do is put a few more in here it's very very light as you can see I don't want to put too much in and it really does last a long time you've got to be going some to use all of that up I have to say okay so I'm going to have that ready not that you need to be in a hurry particularly so I'm going to heat set this move this out of the way so that I don't um, blow it everywhere it's very susceptible to um, a breeze So I'm just heat setting this and you can see it goes glossy. I think you can see that. I'll just tilt it. And this one here. Now the difference this time is that this is now sticky so if you do your heat setting and wonder why it's not setting glossy just check you haven't used your heat and stick powder by mistake so all I'm going to do is pop this in underneath my gold leafing pieces and press the gold leafing onto 
my flowers. Now you can be quite um, strong with this, okay, because you want a really good um, coverage. So don't, um, when I first did it, I was a little bit too light and I wondered why it wasn't really sticking. You want to really press it down until you've got it all covered. So when you start off, you have these really big flakes like this and they just break down and get smaller and smaller but you don't need it to be large flakes for attaching to your artwork so this is just a spare bowl from the kitchen that I will keep for this purpose Okay, so it's good fun. Can get a little bit messy, so just be prepared for that. Okay, and then when you're ready, you're going to just brush off the obvious excess to start with. Okay. What you don't want to do is blow it because all of these pieces <laughs> will pop out. Okay, and then when you get it to a point where the majority of the loose um, bits of gold have come off, then you can use a sponge or a brush to remove the remainder. Now I'm pretty sure I have a sponge here that I've used in the past because it's got bits of gold in it and you can use this to brush off any excess and then it will leave the gold leafing where the detail was like so so it's quite subtle obviously on this bit I didn't have as much Versamark and therefore not as much heat and stick powder but I'm happy about that so I don't want to cover it all up that is the thing okay <laughs> now bits of gold everywhere so now I've got this gold detail coming through now it's a very different look to gold embossing powder and if you were with me when I did um, a Facebook live I showed you the two I showed you with gold leafing and with gold embossing so the nice thing about this is if you've got any stamp that is a two-step stamp you can recreate this gold leafing effect really easily but as i said also if you wanted to you could pick up some versamark and just to make sure i haven't got my um real wink of stella um, but if you wanted to just do these tips here for example you could pick up your versamark and just add that little bit wherever you want it you could be tracing some words for example apply your heat and stick powder in exactly the same way as we did with the um, clear embossing powder back in so I don't know if you can see that but the edges of this flower here and here have now got the heat and stick powder on I'm hoping you can see that the white like so to try not to talk about white powder too much or else YouTube will spot something 
and now I can heat that up and apply my gold leafing again so just to show you you don't have to use the stamp version you can just use a paintbrush um, an empty wink of Stella okay for that so I'm just heating up my heat gun that gold really stands out now I can see it in the um, in the light let's move this away you're waiting for me to do that weren't you I'm sure like so there we go <laughs> and then I've just got that on the edges so I can drop this in again we apply the flakes to those edges like so just give them a really good press so that you've got a good contact and then brush the excess off I'm hoping that you'll be able to see this gold leafing along the edge of these three little flowers that I've added. Uh, let's see if I can just tilt it slightly. There we go. If you can see that. If I bring it down a bit, there we go. I'm hoping you can see that. So there we go. So you could obviously, and you can mix and match. I would recommend that you um, you dry, um, you do each part, heat, you know, heat it up, apply the powder and what have you before you go on to do that. So what you could do is make these bits glossy now if you wanted to as well, or these little flowers here. So now I've got two pieces of designer paper that I've stepped up well I've actually got three because I sneakily did this one here um, and so this one has got clear embossing powder on it and this one has got gold leafing on it so all I'm going to do now is make those up into a card or two cards and so I'm going to let the designer paper do the work but I'm just going to literally add a sentiment on each one so I think I'm going to put the gold one onto the red because I think the depth of the red makes that really stand out thank you Karen and I pop this one onto the clear So, what I'm not sure about is whether I'm going to add any ribbon or anything to those. I think I might just um, pop some sentiments on. So, nice and easy for a Friday. Let's see if I've got anything in here that I could use. So, this is my stash of many messages. Um, I may not have the right colours. This has got a happy birthday. But it might need something behind it. Uh, probably all of the wrong colours really. I've got thinking of you in vanilla. Uh, these are all a bit too pink really. Just wanted to say it's quite cute. Although it's maybe a bit too small for that isn't it? Hello Elaine, thank you for joining us. So I think I'm just going to put these straight on. Now in my next order I do have the new oval punch and oval scallop which I think will work perfectly with this because you can use the matching stamp set 
oval occasions here and be able to stamp out your image and punch it and then punch out from your coordinating card um, some of the the background scallops so we've got a nice happy birthday welcome time to celebrate hugs and kisses thank you a little treat so I think this is a really nice set so lucky to know you as well they all fit the oval and you can use these um, sort of top and bottom of the oval as well there's a little um, four leaf clover or shamrock you could use that whoops so I'm just going to apply this onto here so I'm just going to use my um, seal and Lynn if you're still watching this was the paper that I was talking about um, when we were speaking earlier about the Google picking up the words so this is the um, clear embossing into here there's that layer there and this is the gold leaf oh there's more gold leaf everywhere else I did warn you <laughs> that it would go everywhere These are going to go on to our standard thick basic white card so just as a reminder if you've uh, recently tried to order whisper white with the code numbers um, that will have been replaced with our new basic white with a new code number So if you're wondering, it's just because we've had to change suppliers. There we go. Hello Julie. So that's my gold leafed one. Gold leafing everywhere. And then one here so all during the week we've been featuring this fine art floral stamp set dies and papers so if you'd like to see any of those you can just scroll back through on my facebook page gemini crafts or the associated pages that i have or you can hop and see them all on my youtube whichever you prefer if you want to see all of the detail so that's those two there and I just want to add a sentiment thank you Babsy it's the I mean to be honest the papers have done all the work so all I've shown you is how you can step up your designer paper especially if you've got plenty left from a particular pack or you've used some and you want to change it up a little bit then it's definitely worth thinking about what you can do to embellish it obviously you can add gems and the like so let me just find um, find something to pop on there I should have left it and cut out some backgrounds but not to worry thank you Cal G Just seems a bit of a shame to cover those up doesn't it that's the only thing could have them hmm. let's have a look maybe one like this would be better I think it might Oval one would be nice too. Let's 
have a look. So I've got two short stubby ones, <laughs> two slightly longer ones, because I think that's all this needs. I don't want to do too much covering up. So these are from our rectangle stitched framelits. And I'm thinking literally just a sentiment on each one. And I think a nice thank you would do the job. So I'm just going to grab this from um, sweet ice cream which reminds me I need to sort something out for Linda with that there we go so what I'm going to do hi Claire which stamp set goes with this set it is art gallery this one Laura art gallery here and my favourite card design is that I've done this week is this one so it's got two steps stamping on it bumblebee and real red in this case but if you um, watch any of the videos or scroll back to the beginning so we have this one here with the acetate as well that matches it try not to make that shine too much for you but there's lots yeah lots of ideas really nice and lots of sentiments as well six and eight nine sentiments that go with it so I'm just going to add this thank you and I'm just going to pick up the um, Merry Merlot I think in both cases if I've got enough ink they're nice, aren't they, Laura? So I've nearly finished packing your um, Class in a Box project for those that ordered Class in a Box, well, for February. Um, so I will be releasing our next one um, very soon. And I have decided... Um, to use the butterfly suite and the butterfly papers for our next one. I wasn't going to, but the papers are so nice and I know that the papers are limited edition. So if I don't do them now, I won't have an opportunity to use them. Yes, that's very true, Carol. They don't cover too much. So I hope that goes down well with everybody. We are it's lovely that merry merlot isn't it i think i prefer it to cherry cobbler oh good laura because <laughs> i wasn't sure because i thought it's not everybody's cup of tea but the papers you can just do so much with and i'm going to do a spinning card as one of them and a fancy fold as another just to step it up but the papers themselves just do the work so I'm actually just going to leave that and put those on dimensionals. I'm not going to add a layer behind because I don't want to cover up any more of the paper. So I'm just going to keep this nice and straightforward. I've got some strips here that I can use for the dimensionals. Now you could add bling. I might add some gold bling onto this one here on the left hand side. Um, looking for my scissors <laughs> well done Tracy <laughs> yes the, the butterfly papers are on um, while well, stocks last availability so but I just think it's too good an opportunity to miss and then that will give people plenty of ideas for the future because that stamp set and dies will be in the new annual catalogue ok 
Okay, so I'm going to put it over this one. And I'll probably do the same in both cases. There we go. So thank you, with a bit of gloss to it. And this one here. Obviously I didn't put enough um, powder and stuff on there. But that's fine. So my craft and chat this weekend, which is a free session you can join, will be tomorrow afternoon. So Saturday afternoon. And that will be 3 till 4.30. And that's because I'm taking the day off on Sunday for Mother's Day, Mothering Sunday. So you're welcome to, any of you are welcome to join me for craft and chat tomorrow. So it's a Zoom session. You'll find the link on my Gemini Crafts Facebook page. And you can just join, just watch what I'm doing. I will be crafting. Um, you can join, you can be crafting yourself. It doesn't have to be paper craft. Or you can just come and have a chat whichever you prefer or a bit of all of that oh no anyone can join carol um i do a separate one for my team normally on a saturday um but my team can operate that at any time and so normally my sunday afternoon is three till four thirty that anybody can join so it's aimed at customers but team can join it uh, but this week only it's on saturday Hello Hazel, how lovely to see you. I'm just wrapping up I'm afraid, but um, it's so nice of you to join us, haven't caught up with you for ages. So this is what we've created today. So I've used the gold leafing here in two different ways. So I've used it on the stamp with Versamark and stamped it onto there and added the heat and stick. But you can also just paint it on with a paintbrush or an empty Wink of Stella. So never throw your Wink of Stella away. Um, keep that because it works as a perfect paintbrush for you. And um, I've applied it that way. And then this one, I've done the same thing, but I've used clear embossing powder, which I hope you can see if I do it like that. You can see the shine and on this one the gold so i featured this whole suite all week so if you haven't joined us for or haven't caught up with any of my other videos from this week do um just look back through my facebook page you can click on videos or click on live videos i will add a little link actually to make it easier for you and you can go straight to those or you can watch them on my YouTube just search for Jenny McCormack or Gemini Crafts and there you'll find them all on there okay so that's all I've got for today I do hope you're able to join us tomorrow for my craft and chat and I will be back next week so Monday and Wednesday mornings I'm always here at 10 a.m. Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays I'm here at 5pm and that's obviously all time in the UK so that's currently um, Greenwich Mean Time GMT longing for the day that we go to British summer time which won't be that long thank you Jeanette thank you Karen so um, I wish everybody a good weekend a good evening um, for those of you that are celebrating Mother's Day or um, celebrating the life of your mother who's passed, um, I wish you all the best for Sunday. I know it's not the best time for a lot of people, um, but I do hope you're able to look after yourselves and just take some time out. Take some time for yourself. Okay, thank you very much, ladies. I appreciate you joining me today. I hope to catch up with you over the weekend. And if not, um, have a good weekend, stay safe, look after your loved ones, look after yourselves, 
and I hope you can keep crafting. Thank you so much. <laughs> bye bye and good night. Good evening, I should say. <laughs> Thank you.